question and, and set up. And it's great to come after Google and the customers, hearing from customers uh, first is, is massively important because this partnership that we have here was driven by our customers. So Google and Citrix uh, working together is specifically at the request of customers who are employing Chromebooks and looking to deliver the applications that they have, whether they're business, government, education, to their uh, uh, users. So customer-driven partnership. A little bit on, uh, on Citrix. I love Dave's comment. We've been working to revolutionize uh, desktop and application delivery in, uh, in the enterprise. We've been doing that through virtual computing, and we have a vision of uh, anyone being able to work and play from anywhere, any device, any time, access to every uh, application that they have uh, in uh, their day-to-day -day, uh, life, both for personal and, and uh, business uh, use. Uh, we have a very large deployment of our technologies through all of the Fortune 1000, the vast majority of businesses. For the last 10 years, we've been doing a similar thing to everything that's going on in the web. We've been lifting applications up off of desktop, centralizing them in the data center, and delivering everything as a service. Because then you can have one copy, it's secure, it's efficient, IT can control it, and deliver an application like everything else uh, on the web. So we've been off on this uh, journey. And we do it with our software that works in uh, the data center. And we deliver it down to devices, PCs, Macs, smartphones, iPhones, tablets, and you name it. Specifically, we have something called Citrix Receiver. You can go on one of these devices and take your Android phone or a new Samsung uh, Galaxy Tab, go to the Android market, download a receiver onto one of these devices. And if you're in an organization that uses Citrix, you can access all of your business applications or school education uh, applications from that uh, device. So we've been working with Citrix Receiver and effectively creating an enterprise app store such that enterprise IT can deliver applications in much the same way as we see the app stores uh, on uh, the public uh, web. So we've been off doing that. About 100 million users, 250,000 customers, about 25 million applications centralized and delivered by our customers to uh, their end users. So we introduce uh, Chrome OS and uh, uh, Chromebooks into our uh, customer base. And the customers came up and said, well, how can we get access to all of our applications uh, from a Chromebook? <coughs> the beauty is we were working on a new technology, HTML5. And HTML5 and standards-based implementation is massively important. With HTML5, you can create a great, rich user experience, it's secure, it's fast, et cetera. So rather than doing a client implementation, with Chromebook we've done a browser-based implementation. So what you're seeing here in Brad Peterson's slide going to help me is a new version of Citrix Receiver. It's browser-based. It's based on HTML5. Uh, our engineering teams have been working for the last six months or so integrating our uh, technology to make this fast and secure. And uh, I'll turn it over to Brad to talk about what this enterprise app is. If and I can see the icons here also. If I go into some of these categories, click on finance, say, I might want Hyperion as an application that I want to use. Maybe I'll go into HR, come down to here, scroll down, find SAP. Definitely business applications. I'm going to grab Google Earth and let's say Photoshop also. So as I add these in and come into my home screen here, I can see these are the applications I can jump on anytime I want to use. And I'm going to come in here and click on Photoshop. So Photoshop is going to open and run. Brand new Photoshop. Just bought it the other day, in fact. Running and installing Windows. But it's going to appear as though it's running right here in this device. And yet it's not. It's running in the cloud. Okay? This application is running in the cloud. Its pixels are ripping across the network right in front of me. As I move the mouse and touch the keyboard, those interactions are sent back into the cloud. So if I come into here and I say, let's say, let's browse in the bridge. It's going to connect in. Open up some sample uh, files that I have here. So some images, I can just click on them, click on a few of them here, in fact. Hit enter, and it pops them in. So here I am, vector-based output, modification required. Bringing these icons and images and so forth, and I'm manipulating them in this application, this Windows-based application. I can come down to here and pick up more applications <coughs> like SAP. So this is going to open up the logon interface to go into SAP to do you know, travel expenses and those sorts of things. Again, at the same time that I'm working on Photoshop over here, same time I can go back to this tab and pick other applications that I want to work on. And again, at the same time I'm doing email and other things over here through the Gmail interface. 
So it's fully integrated together. Basically a win-win-win with Citrix, Google, and all of our joint customers. Perfect. Perfect. So this capability is something where our existing customers, uh, 250,000 customers, uh, we've said that we're going to deliver this uh, capability by the summertime. And uh, we just actually started beta with live customers this week. Uh, so we'll be uh, in the market and it will be uh, relatively straightforward for any one of our customers to be able to add this capability and unlock 